Um, so how do you sum up that in the end? You, you guys obviously dug in um, to get to get the point, but do you feel you could have could have won it at the end? Yeah, I'm frustrated today and disappointed because it's probably the worst out of the three performances that we've had. Um, obviously, the game plan changes for both teams in the, the tenth minute when Kieran Clark gets sent off. For me, I'd much rather a team would go through and score the goal uh, rather than it go, you know, ten against eleven because you know they were camped in their half uh, for long periods and defended their box really well. But we we didn't do enough to win the game because we didn't show enough quality in the final third. In all honesty. Yeah, I think the sending off kind of got the crowd going, the home crowd going more as well. Did that kind of make it even tougher for, for your lads? No, not really, because we obviously had a lot more ball then. Um, that obviously would change to 4-3-2 and give, give us our full-backs as the out ball. Um, but we just never showed the quality in the final third. I, I just felt we were a little bit pedestrian on the ball. We needed to be quicker. And it wasn't until we actually the goal that we scored where we moved the ball with any kind of tempo and pace and we, we double switched it. And uh, team has scored a wonderful goal, but we never done enough of that in the, you know, after the sending off, and um, because of that, we never got enough big chances. What was your view on the, the penalty, the Newcastle penalty? At the time, I had no idea. I've seen it back. Does it hit his arm? Yes. For me, the referee knows he's it, it's hit, hit his arm as well, and he's decided to to give a corner because of the proximity of how close it was. Um, I'm told there's a law that's saying if your arm's above your shoulder, then it, it should be a penalty. But come on, if it takes 90 seconds to uh, to make a decision yeah. in, the, in the studio, then surely that's not a clear and obvious error. And you know, I'm just disappointed that at the moment I don't feel enough on-field referees are given enough responsibility when making big decisions. Just lastly for me, um, obviously the... The point keeps the unbeaten run going for, for for yourself. You'll be pleased with that. But what does it do for the bigger picture at the at the bottom of the table? I don't know. We just concentrate on the next game now. Um, you know, we knew that it was a big game tonight. Um, probably bigger for Newcastle than ourselves because they haven't won this season yet. Um, it keeps our unbeaten run going. Defensively, I thought we were good. Didn't didn't give away many chances. I told them to keep their heads at half time because you know any little touch they would be looking to get free kicks and set pieces and you know that's where they get end up getting their goal from um but the perseverance and the character of the players is is there for all to see kept battling away and you know uh, got a point in the end thanks Dean thank you thanks Keith can we go to um Paddy Davitt please from the EVP Dean hopefully can you hear me mate hi Paddy yeah, yeah. yeah. cheers Dean um you talked about you felt quality wasn't there in the final third you talked you maybe a little bit pedestrian did you think they looked a bit lethargic as well at times yeah I did I just didn't feel we moved the ball quick enough Paddy we needed to we spoke at length uh, at half time because our full backs were always going to be the out ball so we tweaked it a little bit I never felt our wide players were causing them enough problems so we went two, two up front uh, with a diamond in midfield and allowed our, our, our full backs to be the out balls but we never double switched it quick enough because we had to get them one side and then switch it the other to get our overloads, but we never done that quite quick enough. And I probably should have got Dimi on a little bit earlier, um, you know, not because Brandon weren't playing well, but we just needed that balance with the left footer on that side at that time. I mean, you did say and have said to us, you never get too high with a win, never get too low with a defeat. So where would where would a draw sort of register in terms of how you're feeling tonight? Yeah, right bang in the middle, I suppose. Um you know, but listen, the biggest thing, and I keep saying to the players, if you don't win, then you don't lose. Um, you know, in, the, in the, the three games that certainly I've had with the lads, they look hard to beat. They look a hard team to play against, with the exception of the first half against Southampton. And, um, you know, we can certainly take a lot of a lot of positives from that moving forward now. Final one from me, Dean. No, no Rashid, so no Cantwell tonight. What, what can you tell us on those two? Yeah, so uh, Milo slipped in training yesterday and felt he's groin. Uh, we brought him with us because we still felt, you know, given time that he would be OK. Um, but, you know, he, it wasn't worth the risk, especially with so many games coming up. And uh, Todd's got a, a COVID issue, so wasn't allowed to travel with us. But he went in and trained on his own today and he'll be back training with us, uh, hopefully by the end of the week. Cheers, Dean. Thanks for your time, mate. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Paddy. Uh, Michael Bailey from The Athletic, please. Hey Dean, uh, hopefully my connection holds up here. Um, what did you make of the of the psycho of the psychology of the players out on the pitch when 
it went down to 10 men and how they cope with that situation. Uh, was there anything there in terms of them being unsure about how they were going to go about things, did you feel? No, I think, I think it, you know, go, uh, the opposition going down to 10, it's something that you, you speak about. Um, we'll probably not have enough time on the pitch to let them know how we, we would want to go about it. Um, but they've certainly, had, they've certainly played against 10 men enough times before. They went 4-3-2 and, as I said before, our full-backs were out of ball. Um, I just didn't feel that we showed enough quality or moved the ball quick enough. Uh, that was the key for, to me, for, me uh, for us creating more chances. I know you don't want to rely on Temu Pukki, but I mean, it was, it was quite the finish, wasn't it? Oh, it was a hell of a finish. And, uh, you know, if there's anyone I want to rely on, it is him to, to, to score a goal like that. And that's why I said, you know, I'd rather a team would go through and, and make it 1-0 and them stay 11 v 11. Uh, I felt, you know, them going down to 10 give everybody, uh, you know, that, uh, that mentality of everything's against us, let's stick together. And, um, you know, I thought they defended their box really well as well. Uh, just finally, I don't know how aware you are, but there, I mean, there was a probably a couple of penalty handball shouts for, for you guys uh, in either half. But w- were you aware of those at, at either point? No, I think there was some some half appeals. Um, you know, that's for the on-field referees for me to deal with, and you know, nobody quite understands what the unnatural position or natural position of the arm is at the moment, uh, especially when it's headed from less than a yard away from you. Fair play. Cheers, Dean. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks.